We're at the Torrey Pines Estuary. Not far from a La Jolla beach, San Diego State University archaeologist Todd Bragy is hiking through brush, looking for signs of ancient life. He stops at a patch of scrubland that would be pretty easy to miss. He's interested in the tiny seashells scattered across the dirt. It might not look like much at first glance, but this is actually a pretty high-density shell midden. Shell middens are basically ancient trash dumps, and Bragy says they actually provide a window into the past. So here are a couple of nice examples of uh, scallop shells. Thousands of years ago, coastal people discarded shellfish debris in piles that can still be seen in areas like this today. Yeah, so this is a pretty good indication that people were here for uh, a decent amount of time, enough to leave this much debris. And again, this is only what we're seeing on the surface. So this tells us there are probably more subsurface deposits. This is what's left on land. It's the waste debris of stone tool production. But Bragy says many important remnants of the past could now be buried offshore. Sea levels were much lower at the tail end of the last ice age. And that means ancient coastal people were likely living on land that is now underwater. You know, we can do this work along modern coastlines, but it probably only gets us so far, right? I mean, it only gets us to these uh, sites where people were pulled inland, right? And uh, the best evidence might be underwater. Bragi and his colleagues are currently searching for that kind of evidence around the Channel Islands. They surveyed the area last summer, and in a few months, they plan to go back and drop coring instruments to see what they can dig up. Bragi says in this region, this kind of work is new, and it could possibly turn up evidence of what might have been the first people to ever populate this part of the world. We probably know more about the surface of the moon than we do about uh, the underwater submerged landscape of, of the Pacific Ocean off of California. A short distance from where Bragi is standing, scientists at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography have been planning their own search for underwater archaeological sites. Earlier this month, they launched the Scripps Center for Marine Archaeology. There's the La Jolla Canyon that runs parallel to the beach. From the Scripps Pier, co-director John Hildebrand can look out and see beachgoers enjoying the sun and the waves. He says in the past, the scene would have been quite different. The people who are here 10,000 years ago, if they were living at the shoreline, that shoreline is now out there, right? The shoreline is not what we see right today. That shoreline is, is offshore. Scuba divers have found artifacts like stone bowls off the coast of La Jolla, suggesting there's more to find out there. Hildebrand is curious to know how people living here responded to changing sea levels. It's an important part of human history, he says, but it could also tell us something about our own present day problems. We know that with the rising CO2 levels and rising temperature, that you know the next thing will be the ocean coming up. And if we look into the past and see those periods where there was rapid sea level and see how, how people adapted to that, it is a help in thinking about where we're going in the future. The new center at Scripps has plans to explore coastal areas around the world in places like Puerto Rico, Belize, and Israel. So this is kind of the Mayan story here. This is the Caribbean story. UC San Diego archaeologist Tom Levy is the center's other co-director. This is exciting. He'll be involved in an effort to explore a sunken Israeli port that would have been an important trade hub during the Old Testament reign of Kings David and Solomon. Levy has lots of experience digging in hot Middle Eastern deserts, but he was only recently trained to do field work while scuba diving. The only place that we find new data about biblical times and the biblical world is the archaeological record. And looking for those clues underwater in these areas that are just wide open for investigation is very exciting. It could be a while before any of these teams publish results from their expeditions, but they say it's great to see more and more researchers going underwater for a deeper perspective on humanity's connection with the coast. David Wagner, KPBS News.